So if you're a beginner or an intermediate lifter and you finally decided it's time to build some muscle, add some size, go through a muscle building phase, in this video, I wanna share with you three things you need to know to not mess this up. Because the truth is, most people are going to look the same year to year. And you've seen that happen in gyms, you've seen that when you look at people's progress, there's minimal amount of changes year to year because people don't know how to build more muscle. So their body composition is staying the same and they might be gaining some body fat, losing some body fat, and they might be even at their quote unquote ideal weight, but they're nowhere near their physique goal. Again, because they're not able to effectively build muscle. And I wanna make sure you don't make those exact same mistakes. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. So the first thing you need to know to gain muscle more efficiently is to avoid the biggest mistake out there, which is gaining weight too fast. And this is exactly what happens to the average person. They're gonna go into bulking, quote unquote. They're gonna put on a lot of weight in the first one or two months. They're gonna get very self-conscious. They're gonna see that they're no longer as lean as they were before. And they feel bad about that. They go back into fat loss and then they need another four, six, eight weeks to get rid of all that body fat, they go back into gaining, and then again, they repeat the same mistake, get huge surplus, gain a lot of weight, and then again, fat loss. They might do this four or five times and simply give up. They're gonna get discouraged. This whole thing, quote unquote, doesn't work for them. Now, the reality is muscle building is a very slow process. You're not gonna be putting on five pounds of muscle a month. That's not how this works. And you need momentum, not just a month. You need a decent amount of time in order for your body to actually start building muscle. And if you keep breaking that momentum, you're gonna basically be spinning your wheels. My recommendation is at least six months of that muscle building phase. And as a target of gaining, you're really looking at somewhere around a pound to pound and a half a month, no more than that if you're looking to do this properly. If you're again gaining four, five, six, seven, eight pounds a month, you're literally just gonna end up in a position where you have so much body fat you need to get rid of, and it's gonna be a complete waste of time. So do this properly, do this effectively, give yourself enough momentum, and you're gonna start seeing some incredible progress. Now, the second thing you need to know to build more muscle, and I heard rumors of this in the comment section that every time you do this, you're gonna gain an inch to your bicep, it's really cool, is if you hit like on any one of my videos. So if you haven't done so already, make sure to go below this video and hit that like button as hard as you can. Now, you don't wanna overdo this. You don't wanna have a too big of a bicep. That's also not very aesthetic. So be moderate with this and jokes aside, means a lot to me. So go ahead, hit that like button below. Moving on to the real second thing here that I wanna share with you is that most people don't realize that lean gaining requires an equal amount of focus as fat loss, if not even more focus. Because what often happens, someone is gonna be very diligent with fat loss. They're gonna track things, they're gonna pay attention to metrics, they're gonna really do a good job systematically, scientifically approaching the whole thing. And then they're gonna go lean gaining and then drop all that structure. The reality is lean gaining is also supposed to be approached with that same vigor, with that same tenacity with that same attention to detail. And here, you're not only supposed to be tracking your body weight, you're also supposed to be tracking your training performance very, very closely, which you should be doing anyway, but also now your body metrics, your waist size, and then your chest size, your bicep size, your thigh size, you're really looking at things what is progressing, what's not, to then be able to iterate on your actual program, to see if you're gaining. And this is, again, a mistake that most people make. They think lean gaining is just this fun, flexible, loose process. Let's just eat a lot and just lift heavy. And then they end up, again, wasting a lot of time because they're not looking at real metrics. They're not improving their program. They don't know what to change and when. And the truth is that you could be not training enough. You could be training too much and you have to be paying attention to metrics of recovery as well as metrics of progress. That's how you make this efficient. That's how you can really see changes year to year compared to, again, the average person, which is gonna do this in the gym, go and follow some random program and get nowhere looking exactly the same. So pay attention to this. Make sure the structure's in place. If you're doing it for six months, do it properly. Of course, in general, when you're approaching any phase, you're gonna see much better results if you're being scientific with it compared to if you're just being wishy-washy with it and just kind of hoping it's gonna work out. That usually is a recipe for disaster, so don't make that mistake. Now, the third thing you need to know to build more muscle is to make sure you're not falling into the trap of chasing novelty instead of chasing progression. Most people, when you look at their programs in the gym, they're randomly switching things up based on what they see on social media, some guy doing some cool chest exercise, they wanna give it a go. Then they try a different one. And in general, the grass is always greener on the other side. There's this 
fear of missing out on the optimal program that some red guy is just hyping up and keep mentioning it over and over and over again. So they keep randomly changing things and of course, random changes, random results, and there's no system behind it. And it gives you an illusion of progress because you pick up a new movement and of course the movement is easier now, you're using less weight, you're kind of learning it, and then you get to a point where it's hard and then you switch it up again. And you can keep being stuck in this learning phase without making any real progress because a part of progress in the gym is also mastery. Mastery of technique, mastery of form. Certain exercises, like the compound lifts, like the true tested barbell bench presses, squats, deadlifts, or whatever, overhead presses take a long time to master. These are not just movements you're just gonna pick up and suddenly start seeing massive gains with them. It will take you time to learn them. So you wanna have a system behind this to also enable a level of mastery with technique and form so you can actually start using those lifts to benefit and make progress with them. And a simple system I would suggest now if you have no system is to pick out four compound lifts per every major body part and then slowly rotate them. So for example, let's say we pick your chest. You have the push-up, you have the barbell press, the flat one, the incline barbell press, dumbbell flat press. So you have four of those lifts. Now, what ends up happening, let's say you have three of those lifts at any given time in your program. So you run both barbells and the push-up, and you've mastered it, you've reached the point of that, and now you wanna move things around, you can swap one of the barbell lifts with the dumbbell press. Now you have a new lift in there, that's one new lift, but the two lifts that you've had before are still there. And yes, you're progressing with the new one, but you still have the stimulants from the old ones which you've mastered and you keep mastering and working on it. And with this new one, you're obviously progressing. Now when you return back the old barbell lift that was there before, after a certain amount of time, you'll actually start seeing how much progress you've really made because that old lift, now when you reintroduce it, you'll be able to break through a certain ceiling you reached before. So in a systematic way, you're actually able to retain a really solid stimulus while also mixing things up from time to time. But again, this is not just random changes at random times like most people do in the gym. They walk in and then they choose the workout. That's not how you wanna approach this if you're serious about making the most progress. There's a system behind things. And that way, you also have the certainty, you know what you're doing is correct, you can measure progress correctly, and you're really approaching this thing properly because you're gonna spend this long period of time training anyway, so you may as well learn how to do it right. In order to do this right, you wanna make sure to subscribe below to the channel, enable notifications by hitting that bell icon. I'm gonna leave a video here at the end that I highly recommend you check out to get more gains over the process. Also, if you're interested in coaching, details are in the description below, and I will see you in that next video.